Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now I am here at the Castle Pie and Pints Inn in Essex. Uh, Chelmsford, I believe, don't get me wrong. It may be, it's Great Leeds is the name of the place. Um, but yeah, so we're here for a little breakfast meet. There's quite a few TTs, as you can see. There's some on both sides. Really nice turnout, probably because we've got that yellow thing in the sky that we don't get it very often in England. Um, but I will give you a good look around the cars. There's some lovely things and also a little funny story about my drone and why I probably shouldn't fly a drone. Uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. Let's jump into the intro. Okay, so let's do a little walk around. Now this is a Merlin Purple TT225, I believe. Um, the guy has owned this since it had 45,000 miles. It is in a credible condition. Um, let me just check. I'm sure it's a 225. I may be wrong. Oh no, yeah, here's a 225, yep. Yeah. Oh, you can just about see that beautiful pearly colour there. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. He's had all the snazzy new lights fitted, the old loading lights. But apart from that, it's quite stock. Um, he's got loads of little extras, like you can see, it's got these nice little touches on the doors here. Just about see that. It's got these little rings around it. Really nice interior, it's got the half leather, half Alcantara. Um, it's had its headlights done, looks like sort of the way that Hackenders used to do them. Really nice with the loading lights and it's got the little Audi emblem in them. Really nice clean looking car, real nice honest example this one. Uh, but like I said, he's had it from 45,000 miles now and 140,000 odd. Really nice condition. Next moving on to um, the colour that Bryn has, pumpkin orange, I mean uh, papaya. This one is a really nice, really nice example of a V6. Completely stock from what I can see. Nice collar combo. It's got the silver leather interior. It's got the BBSs, which if you know me, know they're my absolute favorite wheel. Really nice condition wheels. Really nice. It's a really nice car, this one. You don't see many about, and especially to see him still standard in a really nice condition. Yeah, really, really clean inside. Them seats look like they've barely been sat in. Really nice looking car. Next up, we've got a black. No idea which black, because I'm terrible with blacks. But it's not the one with the red pearl in. I know that much. Um, again, stock exhaust. There's quite a lot of stock exhaust, considering there's a lot of 3 twos here. You'd have thought they'd have all had big exhaust. So this has actually got rear tinted windows, which is quite unusual, because... Visibility in a TT is reasonably crap anyway. Um, and tinted windows always makes me think it's gonna be really, really hard to see. Again, it's got the red leather, red and black, really nice combo. Again, my arguably the best wheels. These have got the old polished, polished lip look. Look at the reflection, lovely. Moving on to Jeff's yellow one. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they're all nice, but look at this thing, look. Even the arches are absolutely pristine. Jeff takes really good care of his car. It makes mine look tatty, that's why I'll stand at a distance. But this is just a really, really nice, clean example. To be honest, we've been blessed today because there's quite a few really nice cars, but it's still really yellow, which is unusual um, for the yellow, but yeah, nice. It's just so nice to see so many standard V6s. I guess V6s, they've got all the right bits on so you don't need to to do as much to them to make them as nice as everything else. Because I mean, I'm sporting my Scorpion catback, which I have, um, resonated on the 225. I've got the V6 rear diffuser. I haven't got the spoiler. I was going to, and then I thought, you know what? I'll just buy a V6 instead. So that's on the cards at some point, if I can find one. Um, but yeah, Jeff's really nice. Yellow, I mean, you don't see yellows anyway, but to see one in such nice condition is a blessing. We've actually been blessed today with two. I'll quick pan around mine, there you go. There's mine. <laughs> so this is Jason's, uh, Mr. V6. He is the man to go to if you need any V6 parts. Um, he's got, again, really nice clean headlights. Um, he's actually gone for, on this, the gloss grills. So they've been painted at some point. They've got quite a nice Nice shine to them there, look. same as the lower grills, which really makes it pop. I think it's a nice touch because the, they come just plain grey, they don't actually come painted. I'll give you a, a comparison. So this is 
Jason's versus an original one. You see the difference? Makes a massive difference. Let's have a little look around Jason's. So then you've got Jason's V6. This has got quite a few tricky bits. There's a combination of the yellow and the black. He has also got a Scorpion exhaust, which for a V6 you need to have. Release some of that lovely sound. Um, yeah, so he's got black roof, black wheels, black mirror covers. It just gives you that nice contrast off the yellow. You see here with the old black, black mirrors with the black, black grills and everything. Then on to, again, which is another stock looking, not sure whether it's denim or Mauritius. I'm guessing Mauritius, because I don't think they made a V6 in denim. Again, world's best wheels. In a, again, really nice condition, well looked after. The ones I bought definitely are not that nice. But this is a really clean bodywork-wise. I mean, the, I don't know where all these cars have come from in the woodwork, because I haven't seen some nice cars like this for a really long time. But again, really stock. Just a nice, honest example. This one hasn't been lowered. You can see there's a, a, a little bit of an arch gap compared to, say, Jason's, which is guaranteed to have been lowered. But it doesn't look bad for it. I mean, I'll give you a pan back. It doesn't look bad, does it? It just sits right. It's a tiny bit high, but then again, you can use it wherever you want, wherever you want. So you can't argue with that. 05 as well, so one of the later ones. Again, DSG, haven't seen any manuals yet. Really nice, clean one. Then we've got this 225, sorry. <laughs> this 225 here, quite tricked up. V6 wheels, got the rear big spoiler. It's got a lower front splitter. This is the three-piece one. So if you ever want to look at doing this, is you can buy these on eBay. They come three pieces, the two sides and then the outer. And they're quite popular on the old uh, TT v um, V6s, TT 225s. Um, they're quite a popular option because they're only about 30 quid. Um, it's got the up facelift grille, silver insert headlights, V6 wheels, red leather. Love the red leather. It's got a snazzy steering wheel as well which is carbon fibre and that in the middle. What we've got here, rear diffusers painted black as well to give you that nice contrast between the silver and the black. And how well you can see this is quite dark in the corner here. And then on the end we've got Mikey's V6. Again, stock exhaust. It's unusual, I thought everyone had a, had a big exhaust on the old uh, V6s. This is Mikey's car, he's got the Cupra front splitter. He's got the QS wheels, tinted windows, painted roof black. If you look at that, painted the roof black there, and he's got a rear window spoiler. There's something you don't see very often. I can't remember the last time I see one of them. And he's got a few snazzy bits. But again, just a really nice clean car. With a, these wheels really suit the blue in black. I don't really like black wheels because they just always look dirty, but when they're clean, they always look really nice. He's got the grey leather, not silver, grey. V6 is just such a good look. I can see why people buy the bumpers and put them on their 225s and whatever because they do look really nice. And then we've got two two more over this direction. So this one you'll have seen on my Badger 5 video in the past. Uh, this has got a few tricky bits. It's also got the really popular baseball interior. So it's got some snazzy, snazzy chrome in the bay there. 225, it's got the V6 and the V6 front bumper. Stock wheels. It's got oh, it's got a big exhaust. Scorpion again, Scorpion's popular. I thought Miltec was the most popular, but apparently not. Not today anyway. And then we got the full baseball interior. Really popular option. Apologies for the darkness, but it's really bright today, so the camera's having to suffer a little bit. Yeah, really nice. And then move on to the last one, this nice stock example. Come over an hour just to come to the meet today. It's a really clean, I want to say 225, but I may be wrong. It's got a Parrot Bros cup holder. Yeah, 225, rear diffuser, 
twin exhaust. Well, I'm saying 225, it's got a twin exhaust, but then that doesn't always mean that it is. You never know. And then we've got a Mark II as well. I'm quite a fan of Mark II. I might have to buy a 321 of these if I can't find a V6 elsewhere. They just don't have the looks. They probably drive a lot nicer and they're probably a bit more reliable, but they're just not a Mark I, are they? Let's just have a quick pan around. There's quite a turnout today. I think there's over 20 people. Have a walk back here. Quite a few cars. So, um, let me just turn you around. So yeah, really good morning, really great meet, really enjoyed meeting everyone. Some of the new faces, some faces I've seen before. Um, keep an eye out in the future for more events and meets, little breakfast, Saturday jobbies, Sunday jobbies. I might even try and do an evening out to do some nice light, night sort of light evening photos or go for a bit of a drive somewhere rather than just something static. Um, and I'll leave you with some drone footage of our meet today and some aerial pictures. Um, they all come at a cost. I had to climb into a bush Oh, I had to climb into a bush because I hit this tree here and had to climb over the fence and into a fallen conifer to get it. But luckily it wasn't damaged and uh, I just won't fly near trees again. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching guys. Bye for now. Thank you.